Yo, what they do, YouTube, man. Like I said in my last video, we making bad decisions. And when we make bad decisions, that mean I got good content coming y'all way. What do you mean by that? The bad decision that we talking about today is this little bad boy here, man. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f*** is that? I talked about it in my last video, and um, this is my initial review. I haven't shot it yet, so uh, we gonna just get right into what y'all came here to see. Before we get into the video, man, and talk about this bad boy right here, I want to give a shout out to Prime Armor, man. If you don't know who they is, check them out. On their website, man. They sent your boy this plate carrier, man. They got places where they got some dope merchandise on there. We gonna try it out. We gonna test it out. Y'all already know. I'm gonna get my honest reviews on it. But I'm rocking the Prime Armor plate carrier with the Dolphins jersey. Because if y'all don't know, I'm from Miami. And <laughs> we war ready, man. We war ready this year. So What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Without further ado, man. This bad baby this style of gun was created or introduced in 1857 how hold on bro how we talking about lever action man i ain't never even shot a lever action before but i feel like one of them like i'm on one of them cowboy movies just <laughs> bop, bop. man i uh i got this firearm because um it's in 22 um I believe it is. It would be a very dope gun to teach your kids, um, introduce the kids to the firearms, and and teach them how to uh, how to uh, how to shoot. So you know, it's a hobby of mine. Why not pass it along to my children, man? So yeah, it's lever action. Um, the finish is so so dope, man. This wood feels phenomenal. I've never I've never held something like this before. I've never been um, I've never been you know, introduced to something like this before. Y'all might know better than me. If y'all have some ideas on customizations or, or or what this bad boy can do, please let me know in the comments. Like I said, it is chambered in 22. Um, you can pull this thing out and I believe it holds about 10 Rimfire 22 um rounds in there. This is a planker. Clinker, shoot squirrels, shoot wabbits, shoot <laughs> shoot whatever, man. That is that is also something that I, I do want to get into. I do at some point want to start hunting. So, um, but yeah, my initial thoughts: beautiful gun. It looks like it's well made. Um, the trigger pull on it is is pretty dope. The feel, the ergonomics, it feels natural. The sights on it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Well made. Right here in the U.S., I believe it's made in um this this company is based in uh Texas. If I'm wrong, let me know. No, I'm sorry. Prime Armor is based in Texas. Um, I think this might be based in um uh, New Jersey. So made right here in the U.S. Beautiful firearm. But y'all already know. Before I get out of here, I gotta introduce another bad decision that I got. Be on the lookout for that video. I'm going to put it right up here on the right or left side. Click on that video and see that full review or unboxing review of the Springfield Hellion, man. Yeah. 